It's time once again for that business show with Jamie Maloney on 1250 Wins WHNZ, where business becomes show business. Jamie is a leading Tampa Bay real estate agent and featured on the Wall Street Journal's list of top 100 real estate agents in the nation. Jamie invites you to list your home with him today and learn more at tampabayradio.com. Now, live in studio and promoting the entrepreneurial spirit that drives the American economy, your host, Jamie Maloney. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to our number two of That Business Show with Jamie Maloney, where business becomes show business. We're starting, I think, the uh, third month here of uh, doing on uh, two hours a day. It's, it's flying by, man, flying by. We've been on seven to nine since uh, April 25th here, and so it's... Pretty uh, seamless, too. Pretty seamless, yep. yeah. I just notice I'm a lot more tired these days. Uh, I go home and uh, fall asleep much earlier now it's just and it's strange too because no matter even if i get that eight or nine hours sleep like if i go to bed at like still eight tired. i still get tired and the I diet just, jamie the diet but when i was oh, waking look, up at like Stella's seven here. and i was i was fine but yeah waking up at that night time has something to do with when i wake up like four or four thirty i just i go home and i'm like tired dozing off the wheel it's a, so other than that i'm doing fine but so uh, welcome to my world dude because i literally haven't changed anything there i was you go. here at the the same time every morning yeah anyways. i never understood why you would get here like so early but i like yeah. youtube yeah you and quiet time by yeah. myself because you got you drive in from newport richie every morning yeah. though so you got a haul coming in here every single morning well so. the, the reason is is if we left too late we wouldn't get here on time yeah, <clears throat> yeah. excuse me well we got a good show plan for you i'm joined in studio by the lovely stella judicelli this morning stella good morning to you good morning tampa bay and stella Stella is a, also a real estate agent with uh, Cole Banker and a, a part-time co-host with the uh, program. So we always welcome her in here anytime we'd like uh, to, anytime she would like. And she always brings us uh, a good guest uh, along the way. So we'll be talking to one of her uh, guests on the uh, second part of the show today. That is David Pullman, who is a partner with the CCO Restaurant Group. So if you're familiar with the uh, the Lodge or CCOs or the... Uh, the That's uh, what he does? Yeah. I thought he was like an underwear model or something. This guy like, <laughs> looks like something out of Calvin Klein. No, no, no. Restaurant owner down there in Hyde Park. They they got all those posh restaurants down oh, there and stuff. So we talk with them about those and also what's on the horizon. They got some other stuff coming up in the area and also outside of the area too. So we talk with David Pullman on the uh, second part of uh, today's show. Up first, though, we'll be talking about how to get your business funded. We got Joseph Camberato, president of National Business Capital, uh, with me uh, this morning on the uh, phone line, and you can learn more about him throughout the discussion over at nationalbusinesscapital.com. So, Joe, welcome to the program today. Hey, good morning, guys. How you doing? Good, good. National Business Capital. So, tell us a little bit about your business and you know the funding op- uh, funding solutions that you have available for some business owners out there. Yep. So, uh, so our company's National Business Capital. Uh, we help uh, small businesses nationwide, small to medium businesses nationwide, obtain uh, financing for their business. It's still tough um, in you know today's economy to get financing uh, for your business. We we offer a number of different financing solutions depending on. The type of business um, and the opportunity that the business is looking to accomplish will make up what we can exactly do for them. Um, you know, we work with anyone from small retail mom and pop stores to um, doctors and dentists to big manufacturing wholesale companies, um, which is, uh, you know, it's great. We see all different types of businesses, which is which is really nice. Can you help a service-based um, business that doesn't really have any collateral and that is a startup because, I mean, they have no collateral necessarily. They have maybe a year in the business. I mean, can you help service-based businesses also get off the ground? Yeah, we're actually doing a lot for that. We don't help people start up, but a year in business is still technically considered a startup. If they're at least six months in business, we, we can start to help them. So one year in business, yes, we'd be able to. We've been helping. Um, it's interesting. There's a lot of different like consulting, IT style companies that we've been doing um, a lot of work for, um, which has been uh, which has been you know which has been great. Now, what is the underwriting like for a business that's been in you know for like a year or two? Are they going to be hit with you know huge rates? And I mean, what's the marketplace out there for like you know a business? You know, let's say they have like, maybe a hundred thousand to two hundred thousand dollars in, in revenues. I mean, what what's the underwriting like for them? Well, we're gonna we're, we focus on the business. We, we don't focus on personal credit. We also we, we we take a more of a realistic approach to underwriting. So, a lot of people, especially in the first year or two, have uh, you know unfortunately they've sacrificed their personal credit, you know, to get to where they are. And now, usually a year or two in business, they're at a great point where they've laid the foundation, they're ready to grow, and they need some financing to do that. Um, so we'll look at the whole we'll look at the whole business. We'll look at the opportunity of what they're looking to accomplish. And we don't just focus on personal credit or uh, collateral. We don't need 
um, real estate collateral, which really separates us from the banks and is helpful. As you know, most businesses, uh, most business owners don't own the real estate that their business is in. Um, so it's not a, a big concern of ours. Now, do you also help with the SBA loans? That seems to be kind of like the standard for the uh, the small business owner to kind of get up and going with a business. Do you also do SBA loans as part of your practice? Yes, we uh, we offer SBA loans. The process is definitely much longer. Um, we can offer them. Um, it's not our main focus, um, but it is something that we can help with. Now, one thing I've uh, noticed, I was playing around with like a lending tree one time, and you can put in like you know some basic information. You get all these loans. Next thing you know, you got all these people power calling you, and uh, but it's really high rate type of financing. Uh, is that what goes on with the typical when somebody goes out there and applies for the typical business loan? They kind of fall into those traps of you know get financing quick, but here's a you know it's essentially a hundred percent finance or hundred percent rate on this loan. Um, no, our, our, our rates aren't that high. That, you know, um, we're typically one to two percent per month. Um, but you know, there's no, you know, there is a risk. Um, there's short, you know, short time in business, um, and you know, we're not requiring any type of real estate collateral. So you really have to weigh out. And in, in, you know, our loans are really for opportunity. So if you're going to pay one to two percent, and in some cases maybe a little bit higher, you know, per month. You know, there, there has to be, you know, you have to focus on what's the opportunity that your business is looking to accomplish, then break down the cost of the financing, and then you can weigh out, does the opportunity make sense to, you know, to borrow, the, you know, the financing for. Um, when a lot of people are in situations where a bank won't find them, they don't have collateral, the rates are always going to be a little bit higher than the banks, but again, you have to focus on the opportunity. Now, do you have an ideal business uh, client that you'd like to work with, or can you work with anybody from, you said you needed somebody, you don't do with startups, so do they need to be at least like two years into the business with two years of tax returns? You know, what? At what point would somebody be able to call you for assistance? When they have money. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, great, great, great question. Um, we actually only need about six months in business, um, so we don't need two years. Um, we need six months in business, and tax returns aren't always qu- are required. And if you're in business for six months, you wouldn't have a tax return at that point. Right. Um, and then from there, um, ideal business, again, we work with so many, you know, it's such a broad range that we work with. So we don't really have an ideal client. Um, but, you know, any, any business in, in business for six months, depending on what they're looking to accomplish and the opportunity will make up exactly, you know, what we can get done for them. Now, will you underwrite just off of the, uh, the bank statements alone or are you looking for the financial statements on top of that? Tell me a little bit about just the specifics of uh, what your underwriting requires. Yep. So it depends on it depends exactly on the type of business, um, the loan size and again, what they're looking to accomplish. But in some cases, we can look at um, the last six months of bank statements along with a, a few other key underwriting uh, points. Um, in some larger transactions, you know, loans that we do that are 250, 250,000 to maybe, you know, a million dollars, we may look at some financials um, and may look at a tax return and things like that. But it's not always the profit that we're looking for at the end of the year. We're looking at other things and we're looking at more recent cash flow and things like that. So. It's not all um, profit. Does the uh, industry that the business is return. does the industry that the business is in play a role? Maybe your more your investors have a bigger appetite for tech businesses versus you know in home care businesses, for instance. Does the industry play a role in the uh, in the uh, financing as well? Yep, absolutely. The industry can make a big difference, um, and then the industry depending on where it's located and, and so on. Um, so that's something that we're, we're always going to look at is uh, the industry. Is there a certain industry? Is tech in demand right now? Is there other industries that are doing better than tech businesses right now? Well, I mean, who's doing well out there in terms of you know getting investors excited about their businesses? Well, that's a great question. It's funny. We're doing a lot in, in the IT tech space. We're seeing a lot of uh, different types of businesses that are happening from that. Technology is kind of sparking a lot of different innovation and, and, and new type of companies. Um, the cool thing across all real businesses right now, we're seeing um, we're seeing everyone is really applying for you know opportunity. Um, you know they ha- they have some sort of opportunity expansion, hiring employees, working capital for that, which is pretty cool. But the IT tech space, manufacturing has really come back pretty strong, and we're doing a lot in the healthcare space, which is pretty cool. Um, the you know there's a lot of a lot of things that are happening in the healthcare space. A lot of doctors' offices are kind of consolidating where. You can go to one, you know, primary care doctor, but in that office they'll have uh, a number of different specialists, so you don't have to go anywhere else. So a lot of uh, doctors are kind of banding together and offering multiple solutions in one practice, which is, uh, I think, uh, 
so a great thing. So what is a business owner right now who's listening right now and they want to contact you? What do they need to have prepared right now and ready? You said they don't necessarily need tax returns, but what do they need to do to make application with National Business Capital? Well, first they would start with a simple phone call, and, and we like to do a little bit of discovery and just understand exactly what they're looking to accomplish. From there, we do a simple electronic application. Um, we'll request um, some recent bank statements, and um, and, and then we really pretty much go from there. Once we, we get everything into uh, underwriting, which happens pretty quickly, within 24 hours we'll have an answer back. We may need one or two more more things from there, but it, it, it's not much. What's the average amount that a business gets funded? Do you have an average number for the uh, – and I'm talking along the lines of just a small business owner up to maybe five employees because that's, that's pretty much you know typically what my listeners are. I mean what's like the average uh, loan that a business like that would get? Our average loan is probably between fifty five and a hundred thousand, somewhere in that range. Um, and then depending on the depending on the size of the business and what they're currently doing in sales will really make up that loan size. The great thing is though is we don't need you to be fully repaid back on any type of loan. Um, so we can what I mean by that is we can relook at if the business is growing, we can reevaluate that business in three to six months. Um, and if they you know have taken financing from us growing their business, very quickly, we can extend some additional uh, working capital to them. Any restrictions on the funds once uh, they're in the bank account? Can you use them for paying taxes or paying employees or expansion? Any restrictions on them at that point? Yeah, anything that you're looking to use for, for you know for business needs uh, is, is fine. So you know, paying taxes, um, you know, if they have to meet payroll, um, if they're hiring additional you know employees, um, those are those are all realistic things. Uh, you know, that you can use the funds for. And how quickly can uh, uh, people get these funds uh, from the time of application, given that they're diligent and they move forward? From the time of application, we get everything that we need and we have an approval. That usually can happen in about 24 hours. Um, if the offer, um, you know, works for their business and they accept, we can pretty much have them uh, probably funded within about another 24 hours after that. So 48 to 72 hours is very realistic. Um, in certain situations, we've had people funded in, in as little as 24 hours. Wow. Joe, I was wondering, um, do you go back and talk to those businesses maybe a year after that and then reevaluate the business and make sure that they are doing good? A oh, great question. We actually stay in very uh, close communication with the business um, owner. And we have a whole, um, once someone gets uh, financing from us, we have a relationship department, and that department's job is, is to just you know continue to uh, cultivate the relationship with the client um, and keep in touch with them if they need anything. Um, they have someone they can, they can speak to um, if they have an additional opportunity or something else that they want to get accomplished in their business. Um, they can come back to us and, and once we have that relationship, we work very you know even more fast you know and, and more quickly. Um, and again, as they grow, we can continue to grow you know, their funding size um, along with the growth of their business. Right. And as you're looking at a lot of business plans and you keep in contact with your clients, what would you say work at the moment? Where, where do you say, where do you see the most successful businesses? The most successful business as far as industry type or? Sure. Industry type. Yeah. Um, we do a lot in the, in the medical space. And, right. And what you were saying. Of, like I said, a lot of things going on there. Um, but really, um, you know, we just work with such a broad range of, of businesses that uh, it seems like everyone right now in the last 18 to 24 months has really been focusing on their business, growing their business, purchasing, purchasing an additional location, um, whereas maybe six years ago, eight years ago, people were more needed financing just to maybe stay in business. I can see that. Good information. Well, i got to wrap up the uh, segment. Joseph Camberato, president of National Business Capital. Joseph, thank you so much. Good information. Thank you, guys. Have a great day. And give them a call, 844-622-5626, 844-622-5626, or visit nationalbusinesscapital.com. You're listening to That Business Show, Jamie Mooney, where business becomes show business. How many times have you said to yourself, I wish there was an app for that? Stop wishing and start making the world better. Turn your brilliant idea into a profitable business by using popcorn apps. Their affordable app design will help get your blue sky idea or proven business to the next level at a fraction of the cost of other developers. They will help you get through all the steps needed to make your thoughts become live. 
See them at popcornapps.com with a K in popcorn or call them at 727-415-6705 for your free consultation and pop your kernel of an idea into a million dollar business and a world changer starting today. Teresa Turner is a certified public accountant and the founder of Tax Happens, a boutique style CPA firm providing small businesses and individuals with hands-on personalized tax and accounting services. Although we would love to tell you how happy their clients are, we would like you to see for yourself. Tax Happens has 21 Google reviews and a 4.8 star Google rating, 17 Yelp reviews and a 5 star Yelp rating, 38 Facebook reviews and a 4.9 star Facebook rating. What sets Tax Happens apart is number one, upfront pricing, two, clear deadlines, three, personally available year round, and number four, a willingness to empower clients to do as much or as little as they desire. Visit TaxHappens.com for more information. Have you ever tried to buy a home for your family only to find out that you don't qualify for a mortgage loan? You thought that after 20 years as a customer of your bank, they would help you when you needed it the most, right? Unfortunately, the banks of today are not the banks of our parents and grandparents, and our relationships with them just don't matter anymore. My name is Frank Cotto, and I'm the president of the Lincoln Lending Group. We all may need a bank, but we also need a Frank, and that's what I'm here to do for you today. Lincoln Lending Group will waive all of your lending fees, which include your mortgage, application fee, your underwriting fee, processing fees, and any bank points. Just call 813-MORTGAGE. You drop the E, and we'll drop the fee. Tampa Bay weather is a roof killer. That's why when getting your roof done, you want it done right. Hi, I'm Jamie Maloney of That Business Show. When considering a new roof or repair, talk to Westfall Roofing. They've been installing high-quality roofs in Tampa Bay for over 25 years. Get a free, no-obligation estimate by calling 855-99-ROOFING. That's 855-99-ROOFING. Find out what already 15,000 satisfied customers already know. Call now, 855-99-ROOFING. In an age when the good and the better vie for attention, it is the best that stands out. The best of Tampa Bay from Proudly, Florida, is the love story for the city of Tampa. Celebrating success, sharing achievements, a tribute to enterprise and community spirit. Let Proudly, Florida showcase your business to your city, your nation, and the world. For more information, email info at ProudlyFlorida.com and be sure to visit ProudlyFlorida.com. Are you in need of new flooring or ready to tackle that home remodeling project? Then contact Jaeger & Company Incorporated, a family-owned, state-certified general contracting business with over 70 years of experience and the recipient of the Angie's List Super Service Award for the last eight years in multiple categories. Jaeger & Company comes to you with their shop-at-home flooring sales service, and their hardwood flooring refinishing is the very best in the Bay. Kitchen and bath design featuring American-made, well-born cabinets, and all work is done by employees, not subcontractors. Learn more at JaegerFlooring.com. If you've been following that business show on Facebook and Twitter, you may have noticed the quality of some of our images. That's because one of our sponsors is pro photographer Rick Taseda, a member of the Professional Photographers of America. You can view his extensive work by going to his website at RickTaseda.com or call him for an appointment to chat about your photography needs at 813-641-4757. That's 813 813-641- Four seven five seven. Rick Tosseda Visuals. Call him for your next event or project. From the RP Funding Traffic Network. Crash from southbound 49th Street, south of Roosevelt at 145th, causing delays from the Bayside Bridge. Also, we've got those delays again this morning. Southbound McMullen Booth approaching State Road 580 due to construction. Big delays on northbound I-75 from State Road 60 up towards Fowler Avenue. Right lane blocked here. And a crash now off to the left-hand side. Southbound I-275 south of Sly. See traffic problems? Call the injury firm of Abrahamson Uter at Hillsborough Traffic Tip Line 866-545-9595. This report is brought to you by Lead Safe America. Does your child struggle to concentrate and pay attention? What looks like ADD or autism may actually be caused by lead poisoning. Lead is a neurotoxin. It can cause permanent brain damage. Find out how to protect your family. Go to leadsafeamerica.org. Today, a mix of sun and clouds with a 40% chance of showers and thunderstorms. High 90. Tonight, partly cloudy. Low 78. Tomorrow, a 30% rain chance. High 91. You're listening to That Business Show with Jamie Maloney on 1250 Wins WHNZ. Missed a show? Then head over to tampabayradio.com where all shows are available on demand 
Once again, here's your host, Jamie Maloney. And we're back to that business show at Jamie Maloney, where business becomes show business. Monday through Friday, 7 to 9 here on Tampa Bay's 1250 Wins WH&Z. Also keep in mind, we run the uh, live video stream each and every morning. That's what Josh does. He runs the uh, the live video stream, keeps him employed over there, but uh, he does a great job at that. So over there. So what did you say, Josh? There you might. I said keeping me employed. Keeping you employed, absolutely. Yeah, so. yeah we want to keep Joshy. And if you ever miss a uh, program. Stella, that's, that's if you're, the, I'm sorry, dude. No, go ahead. I, I just wanted to like live up the endorsement from Stella right yeah. there. <laughs> and if you ever miss a, a program and you'd like to uh, catch it, uh, they uh, get up them on uh, YouTube uh, very quickly. Uh, Josh puts those up there, and they're typically up there within about 30 minutes of airing the program. They're and also so, embedded on your website, dude. Yeah, it Hopefully. takes a little bit longer for me to get them on there, but uh, getting them up on YouTube, and we have the high-definition video over there, so you can always check them out at youtube.com forward slash Jamie Maloney. Time to bring in my next guest for the show. I have David Pullman, partner with the Chichio Restaurant Group. And you learn more about them and their group over at ChichioRestaurantGroup.com. David, welcome to the program today. How are we doing, guys? Good. Thanks for having me. So who is the Chichio Restaurant Group? Uh, Chichio Restaurant Group is myself and some of my partners. Um, my uncle moved down to Tampa Bay about 20 years ago um, with his original partner who's from the Bay Area, um, Jeff Gigante, who was up in New York as okay. an actor, okay. um, worked for my uncle in one of his restaurants and convinced him that the Bay Area was the next place to expand. So, so your uncle came down here and built a restaurant. Is that was the start of it? Am I am I understanding that correctly? Yeah, Chicho's our original restaurant. Chicho was the original yeah. down there on Howard. So on Howard right there, Avenue. it hasn't moved or anything. Yeah, we're coming up on twenty year, uh, twenty years at the end of the, this year. It's a great restaurant over Thank there you. too. I love that. Do you know how active South Howard was at the time? No, you know, we've had that discussion a couple right. times because um, I always ask my uncle and Jeff, I'm like, how'd you guys decide on this? Like, what was this 20 years ago? And, right. you know, they, they said that it was kind of a, a fluke, but they just felt that, that that's where that road was, you know. They were that. very visionary because it's where it's happening now in Tampa. Yeah, that was a very, yeah, good, exactly. uh, yeah. very good pick right there in a yeah. park location and stuff. Yeah. So, But you would think being right there off of Bayshore, you know, just down the road, that that would have been a good location. But just some 20 or when, – when was it opened again? 40 years ago or 20, when was it? 20 years. 20 years ago. Yep. Okay, so even 20 years ago uh, – and I haven't been in Tampa Bay that long. What was it like 20 years ago over there? Was it? I wasn't just, here 20 years ago. Um, I moved – He was in New York uh, yeah. uh, modeling underwear. That is true. <laughs> so, That's but true. it's definitely a happening uh, place to day so you own chichio's restaurant group there over chichio's i should say over there on south howard what are some of the other brands that are behind or that are in the chichio restaurant group um so on howard we have um four different restaurants we have fresh kitchen which is our newest concept um we have obviously chichio's as we mentioned we have green lemon we have dailies i'm sorry five and then we have the lodge down um on the other side of swan now the green lemon used to be the lime correct correct why did you rebrand the restaurant or rename it um a big national chain came in and bought another smaller chain named um something lime fresh um so they asked us to kind of change our name so there wasn't any confusion um they were actually pretty good about it they gave us a certain amount of time and you know they, did they, they pay you um, they helped us with the marketing expenses That's and cool. stuff like that. So Green Lemon, okay. So. Yeah, it ended up working out in our favor because we actually like the name Green Lemon right. more. And um, we got our, you know, we like to involve all of our customers as much as we can in everything we do. That's mm-hmm. kind of how we like to market and, and work with them. So got the they, fresh, they actually came up with that. Fresh name. Kitchen and The Lodge also. I'm a big uh, supporter of The Lodge. It's right behind my office over there and uh, Coal Banker there. So I walk over there a lot of times. And actually like to... Uh, are we going on a break now? Yeah, actually, okay. let's We're table that. Yeah, let's table that. We're up against the uh, break here, so we come back here in just a moment. Currently in studio with uh, David Pullman, partner of the Chichio Restaurant Group, and you can learn more about them at chichiorestaurantgroup.com, and we'll have a lot more, David, when we come back from the break. You're listening to That Business Show, Jamie Maloney, where business becomes show business. All the financial news that's been making the headlines lately, I mean, it's freaking you out if you're close to retirement or thinking about retirement. Hi, everybody. I'm Ted Webb, and I want you to know that I discovered peace of mind over a year and a half ago when I met David Graham. Thank you, Jack Harris, for turning me on to the retirement guy. David Graham and Graham Capital Advisors are going to be there for you when it comes time to retire. They want you to live your retirement on your terms. Nobody else's. That's the way it should be. So listen, there's all kinds of forecasts that we're going to be in for economic turmoil in the next couple of months. How's that going to affect your retirement? 
All I can ask you to do is to contact Graham Capital Advisors for a complimentary retirement review. 800-808-5009. Call now. 800-808-5009 and get you some peace of mind. Or check them on the net at grahamcapitaladvisors.com. Do you know what the fastest growing crime in America is? It's identity theft. And one way this crime happens is when someone adds their charges to your credit card. But it can happen a lot of other ways, too, like when someone pretends to be you to open up new accounts or charge their utility bill in your name or any number of other illegal acts. That's why LifeLock can help. They use proprietary technology to detect and alert you to a whole range of identity thefts. And if there's a problem, their U.S.-based team of specialists will work to resolve it. No one can prevent all identity theft or monitor all transactions at all businesses, but you'll get more protection with LifeLock than you'd get from free credit monitoring alone. Join right now and you'll get a special 15% discount off your first year. Call or visit LifeLock.com Dot com or use promo code 15 radio that's 15 radio act now offer ends july 3rd call 1-800 lifelock 1-800 lifelock and use the promo code 15 radio from the rp funding traffic network Crash on southbound 49th Street, south of Roosevelt at 145th, causing delays from the Bayside Bridge. Also, we've got those delays again this morning. Southbound McMullen Booth approaching State Road 580 due to construction. Big delays on northbound I-75 from State Road 60 up towards Fowler Avenue. Right lane blocked here. And a crash now off to the left-hand side. Southbound I-275 south of Sly. See traffic problems? Call the injury firm of Abrahamson Uter at Hillsborough Traffic Tip Line 866-545-9595. This report is brought to you by Unbound. Around the world, there are young people who face a difficult decision, continue their dream of education, or drop out to help support their families. In a single moment, you can help them write a new story. See potential, not poverty, at unbound.org. 1250 winds, weather center forecast. High today up around 90 degrees, 50% chance of showers and storms, increasing clouds throughout the day. Overnight lows, mid-70s. Forecasts the same over the next few days. Rain chance could be just a touch lower, closer to 40%. Impact Radio 1250 winds, WHNZ. You're listening to That Business Show with Jamie Maloney on 1250 Wins WHNZ. Miss the show? Then head over to TampaBayRadio.com where all shows are available on demand. Once again, here's your host, Jamie Maloney. And we're back to That Business Show with Jamie Maloney where business becomes show business. Currently in studio, David Pullman, partner of the Chichio Restaurant Group. And you can learn more about their restaurants over at ChichioRestaurantGroup.com. Yes, I want to give a little story on how David find himself here. Um, I took over to organize Christina Griffin's uh, birthday a year ago. Okay. And um, it happened to be a bigger enterprise <laughs> than what I thought because we ended up being a big number it. of people. He's a Chippendale. <laughs> <laughs> Is no, that where it, we're going? It's not coming in the story yet. <laughs> but um, I remember calling uh, several restaurants, and really the people that over the phone were the friendliest, the most accommodating were the lodge. So I ended up organizing the uh, the birthday party there, and surprisingly, the customer service was impeccable. And I have to say surprisingly, because the lodge is actually a very relaxed atmosphere, and you would think that, the service could be actually also very relaxed and not at all actually they're really on top of their game over there and it was like five star service they were accommodating they had a can do attitude i could ask for anything that would make it happen sometime i had top requests or had to happen now and the birthday cake like they were prepared on everything i was super super happy with all of that stella when you go out to these places do you like push buttons just to see how far you can go <laughs> to test their customer service because i did notice that whenever you endorse somebody they really do have high quality service right. well I, I guess that's how i handle my business too and then one anything i do i want it to be like perfect for you know christina there was so much into it like so if people don't follow like my attitude and it's kind of tough because then you have to pull them in. But these people, I didn't have to put in anyone. And so that's how it came up because then I went on your website. I put a, a testimonial. And then I turned to Joe, who is one of your floor managers and who was there. And he was really the main guy I was talking to. 
and I invited him uh, to the show. But the waitresses were also like amazing. And frankly, I've rarely seen that level of customer service before. So yeah, if you birthday get a, parties at the lodge. If you yeah, get a uh, compliment you. from Stella, it's definitely a warranted. Uh, she's definitely a, a high standards uh, professional and stuff. So. <laughs> so let's go through the specifics on these different restaurants. Uh, Chichio's being the one that was founded originally down there on South Howard. It's, it's a very healthy type of atmosphere in there. Tell me a little about the restaurant and the menu. Yeah, it is. Um, we're not so much just health driven. Um, we like to, as a group, um, kind of provide to our customer base what what we're into. We found that that goes um, a long way for us. We kind of model our entire business around the things that we like when we travel, the foods we see, the stuff that we're into. Um, we find just like anything else in life, when you kind of, you know, own something as your own, you kind of bring real life to it. So that's kind of how the menus have originated across the board. Um, there's a lot of healthy options at all of the places because we are a health driven group. We all, you know, my partners and I all are, you know, heavy into fitness and, and keeping in a healthy lifestyle. Um, you have a lot of bowls over there, the noodles, the sushi. You have something, you, you talk about water over there, like, like a water mint. What is that specifically? Yeah, so um, back in the day, uh, there was Chicho's, and then <clears throat> next door there was a sushi restaurant um, named Water that we created. And um, Water became so popular, and it was a smaller footprint. Um, and everyone on the Chicho side, because the building was connected, would say, "Can I order sushi from Water? Can I, you know?" So we decided it was just easier, in, you know, in the long run, to combine them and just combine the menu, and it all become uh, became one where, one restaurant. What was served at Water? Just water. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, it was just, it was just a sushi restaurant. Yeah, it's uh, on the menu now, and so I've always wondered what the uh, the correlation was. I didn't realize there was another restaurant beside that. So, what did you all do? Did you all buy them out, or did they? No, do it was a, it was us. We we created it from the beginning. Okay, you created um, that one too. Yeah, so yeah. You just the, merged them. Exactly. Then? Okay. It was a separate concept, and it shared the building, but it just kind of took its own life. Into and I can definitely attest to the the healthiness. I went there the first time, and I was looking for like a cheeseburger on the menu, and there was like you know one <laughs> healthy burger on there. It was the diet coke. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was uh, it was not my uh, typical menu. I, I recently I, just started. Started eating sushi. I was at Lure in St. Pete, mm -hmm. and I was blown away. I never had it before, and people made me eat it. I fought tooth and nail, so it might be another option for me to go check out water and maybe drink water and eat sushi. David, is sushi is that a healthy meal? I don't really know. I love sushi. Of and I just it is. I just um, found it. Yeah, but I don't know. I mean, you eat so much of it. I mean, is it a healthy option for? It can be. I mean, you know, just like any other food, the the cleaner that you eat something, um, obviously the healthier it is for you. So a lot of sushi is just you know, raw fish. There's not a lot of added ingredients. I know I Stella like that, too, because so. she is uh, very well up to date on the, the healthiness of things. Stella, do you eat sushi? Um, so the problem for me is that I find there's a lot of rice and I feel pretty, uh, uh, full when I had sushis, but like David was saying, it's true. It's like pretty clean food. You know, everything is natural in there. You have rice and fish. So it is one of the healthiest, um, um, meals that you can have. And you also at Chichios, I noticed on the menu you have a, a meal plan that with a doctor in South Tampa. Is that still on the menu there? You have those healthy meal plans that go along with the uh, the South Tampa doctor. That, it's not so much on the menu anymore. We do have you know a client base that that has kind of followed it over the years, and we still honor it for them, the people that know about it. Is that it. where that comes from? Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. People, we we've seen that people like to kind of do their own thing these days. Customers are much more educated with food these days. It's it's become a, kind of a trend in in people knowing what they like and what. We're Works for their diet. So. And Chicho's, if you uh, go there for lunchtime, uh, you'd be prepared to uh, wait. I mean, it definitely fills up in there every single every single lunch. So it's definitely got a good uh, following of uh, South Tampa people. Um, is Chicho's is that open Monday through uh, Sunday? Is that because uh, I know with the lodge you're not open yep. on Mondays. What's the hours at the uh, Chicho's? Yeah, Chicho's are open every day um, for lunch and dinner. Um, so we open at 11 a.m. and you know we're open till close. And then you have uh, daily eats too, right? Yep. And it's pretty much a landmark in. Um, uh, Tampa, yep. because uh, you have lots of. Um, what are these like daily specials? No, is daily that? eats is our um, our version of a diner. <clears throat> we actually just had our 10 year anniversary there, um, and as Stella said, it is it has it's become like a, a flea staple. market of restaurants. Yeah. Is this all in the same area? Yeah, it's it all is. right there oh, on wow. Howard, man. They got a great. They, they own they got, Howard. <laughs> yeah, they got a great. Oh, uh, can I go buy a dream catcher too? <laughs> <laughs> now daily eats is that more? I I know that I think of daily eats when I'm thinking of breakfast, but does that have a good following throughout the rest of the day? I don't go there for lunch or dinner. Right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, obviously breakfast and brunch are huge for us, uh, but lunch and dinner are very busy as well. Um, we do breakfast 
you know, lunch and dinner. Daily Eats open seven days a week as well? Seven days a week, yep. Now, the Fresh Kitchen, I'm not familiar with that one. Where's that one at? Was so, it? Fresh Kitchen is um, right, kind of right next to Burns Steakhouse. Okay. Um, I'm sure a lot of yeah. people are familiar with I haven't with noticed Burns. that. Is Fresh Kitchen recently, or is that? Um, we're coming up on two years in two November. Years? Okay, I just two haven't noticed that, um, what's, what's the decor of Fresh Kitchen like? Fresh Kitchen is an interesting one. Um, it We... We kind of Sounds like a vegan there. place or something. No, it's definitely not a vegan place. <laughs> <laughs> Lots Fresh of Kitchen salad. Fresh Kitchen is yeah. a, a place, that, a concept that we created to kind of appeal to the masses of people that want to eat and still eat healthy but still have flavor. You know, right. we don't claim to just be a health food restaurant, um, but we do, you know, it is a build your own bowl concept so you can kind of, you know, build it to your specs and, and as healthy as you want to get with it or, or as you know, flavorful as you want to get with it, you can. So um, Fresh Kitchen has been an interesting brand for us because it started off as a different concept when we originally started it. Um, it was going to be just delivery at first and prepackaged and all that stuff. And as we started the build out and started to kind of research and, and come up with the concept, it, it kind of took its own life between, you know, all of our partners and, and the creativity in our group. So um, it's been a, a very, very um good run for us so far with that concept and that's one of the concepts that we really feel has some legs to, now the green uh, lemon is a mexican uh restaurant th- uh, theme correct yep. yeah go in there and get some nachos and different things definitely yep. mexican he says nachos i mean they have burritos and <laughs> quesadillas <laughs> and just to come back to fresh kitchen jamie it's where uh on south howard when you go south there's this uh um how do you say drawing of is it sylvester stallone on there? No, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, oh, it's it on is, the side yes. of the building. Yeah, yeah. Do, that's do, really funny. Do you see that? No, at all? no, I've not noticed it. You, so you have a, a caricature or an actual drawing of Arnold Schwarzenegger on the side of the building. Yeah. Um, one of our partners in Fresh Kitchen is a, is also a, a local artist, and she's just very creative with that stuff. And we came up with the idea to put that on the side of the, the building. The funny thing about that statement is, before the show, he was talking, but he was talking in a low voice, and I thought he had like an Austrian accent. And then he's like, <laughs> I'm like, "Where are you from, dude?" He's like, "New York," and I'm like. Oh, were you a fan of Arnold Schwarzenegger or something? <laughs> <laughs> and um, I've heard that you guys actually came up with the idea, maybe, or uh, fed the idea by, like, uh, traveling around the U.S. and just checking out what other people were doing and just inspiring yourself from successful businesses. Yeah, Did so that as I was saying earlier, we found that, you know, the best way for us to create and, and bring what we like is to, you know, do our own thing, do the things that we believe in, the things that we're interested in. And that being said, you know, when, <clears throat> excuse me, when we're doing the uh, the concepts, we like to travel, as you said, get out there, see what other people in, you know, around the country are doing. And, you know, just like anything else, when you travel and kind of get outside of your, your, your element, you, you your start to get more creative and stuff like that. So Right, because it's definitely a huge success. Yeah, it, mm-hmm. it's been great for us. Yeah. Um, we just opened. Always packed. Yep. Yeah. We opened Sarasota location okay. in December, and then we just opened St. Pete um, at the beginning of March. So uh, where, where are you in St. Pete? We're on 44th and 4th. Okay. Um, Very good spot to be in. Um, uh, what's bringing all these people in besides the food? I mean, do you have, like, live entertainment or any other things going on? Fresh Kitchen, we don't do any live entertainment or anything like that. Um, that's been a very word-of-mouth concept. Um the lodge we do live entertainment live music um, djs stuff like that um as well as chichos we do live music um, besides that now the lodge is a sports bar type of a setting that's how i would describe that a little bit i mean it's not sports bar you're not playing sports constantly but it has that kind of atmosphere to it and you're also closed on monday why are you closed on monday i'm always like disappointed when i want to go eat and then it's closed on monday why <laughs> yeah, are you it's, closed on monday? it's a restaurant bar and um you know it is a lively place uh, it's long hours for the staff, and it's a it's a very busy establishment. So back in the day, we used to be open seven days a week, and I found that I used to come in Monday mornings after busy weekends, and my staff kind of looked cross-eyed, and I was like, okay, we, <laughs> we need a day yeah. to shut this place down. Is let Monday just an unusually and, slow uh, part of the week also, or is it just because it was well, a happening Monday, place on so the weekend? Well, hide out. Yeah, you know, where we are on South Howard over there is a busy weekend area, um, and Lodge is a busy weekend concept. So – you know, Thursday through Sunday was just a madhouse for us. And then Monday morning is like, let the, you know, let our staff rest. Let's. I guess um, as much as the staff 
the customers needed a break too. Right? Yeah, this is this the is true. Weekend is really intense. This is so. true. So we figured Monday was a good day. You know, Monday is a day. To so rest you've opened them. a number of different restaurants, each under a different name, different brand. Have you ever thought about and why do you not expand one of the brands? You know, into like a you know just a franchise. Obviously, the, you know, Chichios is known. The Lodge is known. Why have you not opened up different locations around Tampa and focused on South Tampa there with just different brands? Um, so we have South Tampa, and then we have another concept, uh, Chicho Cali, which is a smaller version of Chicho's, and we have one of those in Tampa Palms. We have one in Brandon, um, and then one in St. Pete. Okay, so, so you do with Chicho's. Yeah, okay. we, we do, and like I said, that's a smaller version of Chicho's, a little bit different menu. Okay. Um, and then Fresh Kitchen, as I said, we have two other locations, and then we have one other location of Daily Eats in Sarasota. So we are working on expanding in Florida in general. Um, we are doing uh, Fresh Kitchen in Boca will be our next location. Um, okay, so you are the expanding these year. brands. Are you any plans to open up a completely new brand in South Tampa right now that's unrelated to any of these brands right now? Yeah, we are go- we are actually going to do a gym, um, a gym? over okay. on McDill, um, right behind Dats, which is another great restaurant in town. Not ours, but. But it's not open yet, though. You said the you're gym going... is not. No. Okay. Um, What's the gym going to be like? Is this going to be like uh, just uh, for like class training and things like that? Tell exactly. Me about so it's going to be three different concepts under one roof. Um, that we'll do, we'll have a yoga studio, we'll have um, boot camp, and then as well as cycling. So. So no cheeseburgers or diet no coke. No cheeseburgers <laughs> over there. <laughs> Good information. Let me take a uh, break here. Currently talking to David Pullman, partner of the Chichio Restaurant Group. Learn more about them and their restaurants over at chichiorestaurantgroup.com. You're listening to That Business Show. Jamie Maloney, where business becomes show business. Savvy business owners utilize technology to connect with customers, communicate among teams, and collaborate with partners. Even with advances in technology, you all know it's not infallible. Where do you turn when your technology starts working against you? Who do you depend on to keep your team productive? Don't wait until your technology fails you. Get ahead of the crisis and contact the professionals at Alpha Computing Solutions so they can show you how to keep your technology running smoothly. Visit them online at www.alphacomputing.com. Computing.com. Attention medical professionals. Have you heard the Tampa Bay will become the first certified wellness district in the country? Thanks to Jeff Fennick's revitalization of Channel Sign, the Dr. Whisperer wants to streamline your efforts and preparation. So when you're ready to ignite your practice, use the Dr. Whisperer's public relations expertise to spread the word. Use the Dr. Whisperer to motivate your staff. And use the Dr. Whisperer to recruit and secure leaders within your practice. Call the Dr. Whisperer today at 727-420-2481 or visit the thedrwhisperer.com where they write your prescription for success. Who doesn't have a smartphone these days? And of course, there's an app for everything. Well, almost everything. That's why the folks at Popcorn Apps started developing mobile applications. They saw people like you with genius ideas unable to make those thoughts a reality. They develop applications for tens of thousands of dollars less than you'll find anywhere else and will turn your idea into a reality in a matter of just a few months. Think you're not ready? Think again. They are your one-stop shop for mobile application development. See them at popcornapps.com with a K in popcorn or call them at 727-415-6705 for your free consultation and pop your kernel of an idea into a million-dollar business and a world changer starting today. What's up, business rock stars? Are you ready to bring out the CEO in you? Join Julianne Nichols, CEO of Focus on You Strategy, every other Friday on That Business Show. She'll be talking with other chief entrepreneurial officers about how they grew their businesses. Remember, you could join the conversation at Focus on You Strategies, Focus Fridays Facebook group at facebook.com slash groups slash Focus Fridays. That's facebook.com slash groups slash Focus Fridays. Be the CEO of you. Did you know the biggest challenge business leaders face today is creating an engaged and productive workforce culture? Bill Meyer Ham Consulting wants to help you solve this challenge. They will help you transform your workforce culture to produce amazing business results. Call Bill Meyer Ham Consulting at 941-201-4650 today or visit BillMeyerHam.com. That's BillMeyerHam.com. Have a conversation. I knew mom wanted to stay at home. It's the center of her family, her life. But helping mom stay in her home while managing mine was just too much. Honestly, it wasn't just about me. Mom didn't want me to be her caretaker. She wanted me to be her daughter. I felt so alone until I found out about Home Instead Senior Care. When we met the people at Home Instead, we just knew they were different. The experience was personal. And most importantly, for Mom and me, I get to be her daughter again. Home Instead Senior Care. To us, it's personal. At Vane 911, we will help you feel great again. 
Do you have restless legs, night leg cramps, or ankle swelling? Restless legs, cramping, swelling, and tired heavy legs are often symptoms of hidden vein disease. You do not have to have visible bulging veins to have the symptoms of vein disease. The vein care specialists at Vein 911 are uniquely qualified to evaluate and treat your veins. Are you unhappy with your previous vein treatment? Vein 911 succeeds where others fail. Call Vein 911 today at 855 Vein 911. That's 855 834 6911 to book your free consultation. Vein 911, we will help you feel great again. From the Bright House Networks Traffic Center. Crash in St. Pete on eastbound 9th Avenue North at 40th Street. Both lanes blocked here. Car ran off the road into a house. You'll have to divert around the block to get around this one. Also, we're seeing big delays still on northbound I-75 from Brandon up through I-4 near Fowler. The right lane is blocked here. Hole opened up in the roadway over the weekend. Again, that's the right lane of northbound I-75 approaching Fowler. See traffic problems? Call the injury firm of Abrahamson, Uteric Hillsborough Traffic Tip Line, 866-545-9595. This report is brought to you by Lead Safe America. More than one in three American kids has lead in their blood. No level of lead is safe. Lead poisoning causes learning disabilities and behavioral disorders. Has your child been tested? Learn more at leadsafeamerica.org. Today, a mix of sun and clouds with a 40% chance of showers and thunderstorms, high 90. Tonight, partly cloudy, low 78. Tomorrow, a 30% rain chance, high 91. You're listening to That Business Show with Jamie Maloney on 1250 Winds WHNZ. Missed a show? Then head over to tampabayradio.com where all shows are available on demand. Once again, here's your host, Jamie Maloney. And we're back to That Business Show with Jamie Maloney, where business becomes show business. Also keep in mind the show is in partnership with the Tampa Bay Business Owners. So if you're a business owner in the Tampa Bay region and would like to learn more, learn more at tbbo.org. We do a lot of different events each and every month, and they are designed to uh, kind of network grow and collaborate with uh, different business owners and so it's been around for eight years and about 300 plus members in the organization now and again because of that business show i got connected with them and chris kermitzos everybody's familiar who listens to this program with tbbo tuesdays where we talk with him and uh, also several of the members from the organization so just like to uh, extend an invite to uh, anybody out there who's listening to the program who'd like to attend our next event that's going on wednesday july 6th at the uh, center club from 5 to 7 30. It's entitled, Yes, Your Business Can't Afford Healthcare for Your Employees. It's a presentation with Dr. Eric J. Crawl, owner of My DBC Doc Family Medicine. And again, at the Center Club from 5 to 7.30. And uh, to get uh, into the uh, room, you'll need to uh, message me as it is a member-only event. But we always invite people to attend, you know, one time free of charge to learn about the organization. And hopefully they see value in it and would like to uh, join. So, again, learn more at tbbo.org forward slash events. And then send me a message and mention the radio show and say that you would like to attend the event. And we'll get you over a ticket. Jamie at tampabayradio.com. Currently talking to uh, David Pullman, partner of the Chichio Restaurant Group. Learn more at chichiorestaurantgroup.com. And, David, we're talking about the uh, gym uh, heading into that last break that you're opening up over there behind uh, the Dats uh, restaurant. Uh, Camp is what this is going to be called? Yep. Camp. Uh, Where did this uh, come from? Um, Just kind of kicking around different names of the group. And, you know, one of the the concepts within the gym will be um, a boot camp. And so we kind of kicked it around like that. And then – our partner, uh, Jamie Lanza, who it's it's really her project with um within our group, um, she just loved that name and and so we went with that. When are you planning on opening? Uh, we're hoping to be open at the end of next month. So oh, wow, so yeah. that's right. Uh, yeah, uh, down we're, the we're in build out and you know dealing with all the permitting and all that stuff, but we're getting there. So. By the end of the summer, for sure, but we're hoping by the end of July. Right. And have you uh, recruited all of your trainers or are, still, are you still hiring? We're always looking. Um, we have recruited a number of trainers and cyclists and, you know, boot camp people, instructors, stuff like that. But we're always looking. So, you know, if there's any people listening out there that qualify for that, definitely check us out. Right. And regarding the cycling, um, what's the concept of the cycling? Like, are you going to have a screen and lights or what's the... Exactly. So yeah. it's, you know, it is a, it's a cycling class, um, very high energy, okay. um, music, you know, it's, it's one of those classes to really get people going, really push people. Right. Um, it is great. a very lively, 
And you're going to have a screen as well? or Yeah, we'll have screens, okay. instructors, you know, music, the whole nine yards for to sure. Piggyback Looking off forward Stella, to that. That was, yeah, I was going to ask the same thing. Like, what's the layout of the gym going to be like? Because is it going to be like the sweat gym, like a Gold's where you just walk in and there's just iron everywhere? No, or no, no, no. A little more modern? Or no, as that? Jamie said earlier, it will definitely be more class driven. So what's the most difficult part about owning restaurants? Is it the, the turnover with staff? Is it the marketing and brand development, the food? What, what's so challenging? you got six different brands here. What's the, what's the most difficult part about Field and cheeseburger questions. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, the restaurant business is known to be a very tough business, and it is. Um, and, the, you know, some of the most challenging stuff is just really staying on top of your game. There's a ton of moving parts. There's always something happening, always something going on, something that needs to be fixed. Um, as you said, staff turnover can be, you know, pretty brutal sometimes. Um, it's really just staying ahead of yourself and really kind of knowing what you're getting Any into. Any tips on handling staff issues, minimizing turnover, or is that just an issue you deal with just like every other restaurant owner out there? Um, you know, I find that the more that you can relate to your staff and really get to know them on a one-on-one -on -one basis, the better off everything is because, you know, we're all human. Everyone has their own issues they deal with day to day. And if you tend to ignore those and, and you know, just treat them as an employee, it doesn't seem to go very far. So if you really connect with your employees, that that's the best thing. Where do you think. find you are spending the most part of uh, your days at today, uh, you personally? Which one of your brands? Uh, recently, I've been with Fresh Kitchen a ton. Um, as I said earlier, we're going to definitely – Still getting that one off the ground, uh, so to speak? Yeah, we just opened St. Pete, as I said. So you know, getting that restaurant open, obviously, it's a lot of work and you know takes up a lot of attention. So I've been there a ton, um, and we are – planning to expand Fresh Kitchen. So the more we all know about our own brand and, and how to open these locations, the better. So. And I see you have a, a future partner program. I mean, you're expanding into other markets. And so is this going to become a, some of these brands going to become a franchise? I mean, what's the future partner program? Yeah, we're not franchising yet. Uh, we are big believers in including, um, you know, our staff in all the profits, in the concepts. We want people to really believe in what we're doing. And, you know, that being said, we like to cultivate our, our managers into partners. Um, you know, we, we really want to share the growth of our company with the people that believe in it, and uh, that's what the Future Partner Program is about. Any surprises when you got off of uh, Howard Avenue into these other markets? Is it a little bit more of a challenge when you're off of Howard Avenue with uh, the other brands and these other uh, uh, cities that you're in? Yeah, I mean, everything is a learning experience, especially in the restaurant business. Um, playing outside of your backyard is definitely, you know, it's a different ball game. Um, we're learning something new every day, but so far, so good. No complaints. Well, we wish you the best of luck, and we definitely uh, love the uh, brands that you have here in the uh, South Tampa region. So, David Pullman, partner with the Chichio Restaurant Group, thank you so thank much you. for thank being here. Thank you for having studio. me. Thank you. And also, thank you to uh, Stella Giudicelli. Uh, good introduction here to uh, Mr. Uh, David Pullman. So, thank you so much for that, Stella. You're very welcome. And again, Stella Giudicelli joining me from time to time here on the uh, radio show as a co host, also fellow real estate agent with uh, Coral Bank. Always good to have Stella around. And also, thank Josh you. over there adding the color commentary and running the uh, live stream. So, and thank you but so much man. to him as well. Also, want to thank a uh, guest who is in at 8 o'clock, Joseph Cambrato, president of National Business Capital. If you need some business funding, uh, learn more about them, nationalbusinesscapital.com, or give them a call at 844-622-5626. And also thank you to Dr. Chris Pittman, who is on in the uh, 7 o'clock hour, medical director and CEO of Vane 911. Learn more, vane911.com. Tune in tomorrow morning at uh, 7 a.m., and we'll be running TBO Tuesdays at, during the uh, program. You're listening to That Business Show, Jamie Maloney, where business becomes show business.